Well, are you still watching? It's my favorite episode. So this is your plan? Another thrilling day of how I met your mother and stale Doritos? Only Ted Mosby understands my pain. Yeah, but he eventually met their mother. Two years, five months, three weeks, and two days. I really thought she was the one this time. How come we went out as long as we did? You had cable. How about we get you out tonight? Where? Let's go do some karaoke at the bar. No. Why not? I don't want to. That's not a valid reason. Fine, I have tuberculosis. <laughs> See, I can't sing. Fine, okay. What if we go there and, and, and what if someone sings her favorite song and then I have to think about her? Or what if, what if her sister walks in? Or what if someone's sitting at the table that we used to sit at all the time? Or what if someone's celebrating their birthday and then I'm forced to think about the Who's fact that I'm probably going to ready to get laid? What are you doing here? I live here, asshole. What are you doing here? I'm taking Henry for a night out on the town. He's going to be drowning in so much pussy they're going to have to call him Aquaman. I'm not feeling up to it tonight. Well, why the fuck not? He's still moping over you-know-who. If it were all for nothing, why'd it last so long? You had cable? Why does everyone keep saying that? Come here. Listen, Henry. Life is like a hockey game. Now, when I play hockey, I like to get really aggressive, you know what I mean? Like, and I gotta make sure I put that little puck where it belongs. And, and you know, the part I like the best is when the goalie blocks the shot. That means I get another chance to blow it right past the motherfucker. I'm confused. Are you saying that I need to hit women with hockey sticks? No. What I'm saying is you need to sleep with as many as possible. Okay. Henry, are you really going to take advice from a man who looks like he could be your father? I mean, this guy's been a personal trainer longer than Dante Hicks has worked at the Quick Stop. Any woman who slept with Rick Darris is paying him to be there. He's an idiot. I don't hear any complaining. Oh God, maybe she was right to leave me. I mean, Jesus Christ, look at me right now. I mean, I have one friend who's trying to take me out for a fun night of partying and karaoke, and I have another friend who's trying to be an effective wingman for me, and yet here I am, incapable of going with the flow. Instead, I'd rather just sit around and watch the same goddamn eight seasons of TV that I've been watching for years. I mean, no wonder she left me. What's even the point? So, if you genuinely had it your way, how would tonight go? What do you mean? I mean, if neither of us had any plans, what would you want to do? Pizza. Pizza? Pizza. Fucking pizza? Fucking pizza. Guess I'll order us a fucking pizza then. You gonna be okay? I don't know. You still watching? Yeah. Toppings! How about a veggie pizza? Where's the fucking protein? Green beans have protein! Fine. Extra cilantro and rutabaga.